Well, it's my last day at CES walking these halls looking for interesting stuff that I think you might be interested in. Uh, there's definitely all sorts of crazy inventions like snowmobile skateboards, supercomputers that can fit in your pocket, alien-looking companions for your pets, and of course things that I think we'll be interested in today on Bitner Belt. I'm here with Joseph. Hey, Joseph, how's it going? Doing well, how are you? Very good. And so this company is Helio, and yep. so you are an entire agricultural, agricultural smart platform. We are, yes. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure thing. So we design and manufacture not only the drone, but the software you see on the screen and the controller all in-house. And it's essentially the future of, farm, uh, of farming. So you're able to not only spray whatever you need to out of the tank here, but there is a spreader attachment also. So if there's any cover crop or any kind of uh, solid material you need to, you're able to spread it. Okay, and so you're, be, you're able to intelligently fly out into the field, specifically pinpoint where you're going to apply. Mm -hmm. It's not just a mindless apply everywhere type of thing. Exactly. So, you know, you can get your best results with the least amount of material. Yes, so 80% of what you're going to be doing, because they're meant to fly autonomously, is going to be setting up the field and the details, how high you want it to spray, how many gallons per acre you want it to put out. Mm -hmm. And from there, you send it out, it runs that route for you, and you're just sitting back relaxing until it comes back automatically. Fill the tank, replace the battery, and send it back out. Oh, very cool. And so you, it also pairs over with your Scout drone. Yes. So the Scout drone goes out and surveys everything to see where application is needed and yes. you know, things. Yes. Best are... case use scenario is going to be you got a multi-spectral sensor, RGB sensor on there, so you can scan the field, see exactly where the field is going to need help and assistance, okay. and uh, prioritize that area versus okay. spraying the entire field saving you money and time. Oh, fantastic. You know, I, I wanted to show this product because, you know, there's so many just regular camera drones out yeah. there. They're for fun, they're for f shooting video. This is for people who work with their hands. This is for helping our agricultural be more efficient yes. and effective. Um, and even using less pesticides and things because you can pinpoint things, right? Exactly, yeah. Flip yeah. side of that is gonna be safety versus the, the farmer being out there with the chemical. Mm -hmm. He's sitting back, watching it, making sure it, uh, flies and sprays where he needs to That's without being covered in. That's a real good point. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. So where can we find uh, more information about all of your platform here? Yeah. Simply on our website, uh, hyl.io, Helio, if okay. you can notice. Or give us a call straight away. Okay. Thank I'm you so a much. sales manager, so you, most likely I'll be here. here at Creality with Andres. How's it going, Justin, buddy? How's everything going? Good man? to meet good. you, man. So this is actually something where we're doing a little tiny sneak peek. I have one of these coming to me. This is the Creality T1. Yep, the T1. And so this is going to be coming to me in the next month. I'm going to be one of the people announcing it. So it's just out here on display at the moment. But this is a multi-source laser. Yes, sir. And so we have modules that are going to be able to go in here to yes, do UV, diode, diode fiber, fiber, and MOPA. MOPA. Yep. So very, very cool there. So we're going to have multiple sources. They have one of their, uh, you know, K9 crystal cubes that they've engraved here with their UV laser, obviously. Uh, and so, will all of those sources in here then be Galvo based when it's delivering it in the machine? It should. Okay. It should. Okay. It should. It's a lot of since I broadcast it or showcase it in Frankfurt. Okay. It's a little bit changes. All right. So now I can see it when. Uh, Basically, because I saw yeah. one of the first ones that I saw it in, you know, okay. showcasing in Frankfurt. Uh -huh. I can see it much better, more stable, the top and everything. Yeah. So it's a lot of things that uh, I can't really say is coming this way. Okay. Because all these changes, they, it feels much better than it, what yeah. I saw in Frankfurt. It's actually metallic feel. Yeah, it's metallic feel. So uh -huh. there was wobbling and everything, but uh, right now, okay. I can't disclose so we're it like too much. final prototype yeah. stage final before prototype. it comes yeah. out there. You also have a fume extractor that's like a desktop mounted version yeah. that goes with that too. but. Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and you'll be able to see when I review this bad boy. Thanks so much. Justin, thank you very much for yeah. Kyle, how are you? Hi, Justin, I'm good. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. So okay. this one maybe is a little super cool to me, you know, being that I do a lot of YouTube stuff. This is a robotic arm for my video camera. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I, I had to stop, it's super cool. Yeah, so first it's the resilient axe and um, the robotic arm is generally made for those like YouTube influencers because nowadays we want to make like very high-end videos with good quality, um, but we want to make like more budget friendly for them. So it, it only costs around 3,000 US dollars, which is around one-tenth of the pricing compared with our competitors. And second, it is very portable 
as you can see, we bring like from China to here in a tiny box like that, and it only weighs around 11 pounds, oh, which 11 is very pounds. suitable even for you like little yeah. girls, only like four <laughs> kilograms. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And second, it's very easy to set up even at your home. As you can see from the video, uh, you can like set it up at your home to do a lot of vlogs. So uh, we can do like pre-programmed movements for some. Oh things? yeah, for sure. So you can use a remote controller okay. as our cool. pilot shows. So okay. it's like a game console, and you can preload like the track of movements, connecting okay. the dots, and then the camera will move like that. And after the initial use, it will remember the general track, which means that you don't have to repeat it again and again. That's great. And you don't have to control it manually after time. Yeah. So you know, in my shop. Um, you know, my shop's not gigantic, but my camera usually lives on the other side of my table saw. So every time I'm shooting a video for all of you, I have to walk around a big table in my table saw, yeah. move the camera a little bit, walk back over again. So with this, I could just set that up in the middle of my studio, and I could then control it to move around to get all the different shots that I want. So for other content creators that might be watching, people who are interested in this type of thing, I had to stop and check it out. So is this available for purchase now? Um, Unfortunately, not yet. Not yet. But we are going to launch it soon at Kickstarter this year. Oh, so it's going to be on Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm going to try to advertise our products to Kickstarter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so look for it on Kickstarter coming pretty soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. At the Lutron booth with Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi, How are you? Nice to meet you, Justin. Very nice to meet you, too. You know, everybody knows this company for at-home automation with uh, wonderful decor items. Can you tell me a little bit about your newest product? Yeah, for sure. So Lutron introduced the Caseta smart home system back in 2014, and we've been continually evolving the line. Last year at CES, we expanded it with Caseta window treatments, and okay. now we are proud to introduce our newest addition, which are the wood blinds that are oh, actually going to nice. lift and tilt. The Caseta blinds are built with natural light optimization. So once it knows your home's orientation, north or south facing, it's going to change the position of the blinds throughout the day to optimize the amount of light that you have coming in. It can be controlled through the Caseta app, remotes, or third-party voice controls. It's made from North American basswood in natural and white colors. The Caseta wood blinds are at a fixed price point for any size up to 40 inches wide by 80 inches tall for $429. The blinds run on standard AA batteries and will last for three to five years. You can find out more on CasetaWireless.com. At nighttime, I got to go to different events like CES Unveiled and Pepcom and Global Impact, and these had a little bit more slimmed down booths, examples of products. If you're up for some extreme adventure, strap these to your legs. You're going to be able to go 40 miles per hour on sand and dirt uh, and roadways, of course, uh, giving you the feeling of skiing on other types of surfaces. Elamind is a headband that helps you fall asleep really fast, and I actually saw it firsthand. My friends Mike Smirka and Clack Shack here actually fell asleep on this bed within minutes with about 30 of us with cameras pointing at them. Uh, Mike Smirka even got into a really deep REM sleep. Hedgehog Dryer is a whole line of drying products for both gloves, hats, uh, your snow gear, your work gear. Um, they have all sorts of products in their line. I'm really impressed with it. I use these types of products all the time, but they were very, very powerful on display here. As somebody who owns a company with tons of employees who are outside in the snow and the rain all the time, uh, I'm going to pick up some of these and you'll see a review on Bittner Built pretty soon. We saw a huge industrial robotic lawnmower that could eat all of my little robotic lawnmowers in one gulp. Uh, this is a super large, powerful machine for up to 12 acres of clearing at a time. I got to go on a giant version of the WeThings Body Scan 2 Longevity Station. Uh, this not only is a scale, but it tests your hypertension, your metabolism, cardiovascular system. That way you get a daily analysis of your whole body. I'm here health. with JY with Vochi, and this is a very interesting ring-based product. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah. So we are Vochi. We are world's first AI note-taking ring. So we made this device to really uh, fix the problem that people forget about the important things, or you know that interesting idea to slip away. Yeah. Yeah. Because we do we uh, do that by uh, putting intelligence on your fingertip. So unlike other recorder, you know, give you like a, a huge chunk of files or give you audio file never gonna listen back to again. Yeah. Uh, Vochi uh, lets you to tap to highlight part of the information that's really mm -hmm. important or find interesting. 
And okay. uh, then in the software, uh, when you really see the transcription, you can see your highlight and you can see the insight generated by the AI. So okay. you're going to see a lot about, you know, about to give you the contextual information, um, the next step suggestion and things like that. So it's not just a transcription or like a dictation type of thing. It's actually intelligently doing actions or performing searches for you or creating all sorts of different, you know, correct. actions. Correct, correct. First, you need to be a very good recorder. You can work without the phone. Okay. Then, when you work with the phone, then it must be a very accurate trans transcriber to mm -hmm. begin with. Okay. Then we, uh, after you put the intelligence on your fingertip and you have some interaction with the AI, you can do lots more wonderful things. You know, if you have it on you all the time in the form of a ring, it's accessible to you, you're going to use it a lot more than if you had like some large thing in your pocket that maybe you were bringing around for things. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, That's what we neat. expected. Yeah. So what, do you have an anticipated price point, like an MSRP? The only thing I can say at this point, they're going to be very competitive comparing to other recorder devices. Okay. Yeah, we know there are a bunch on the market already. And mm -hmm. they're going to be way cheaper than uh, typical smart rings. Okay. Yeah. And then what about like launch time frame when people would be able to buy one? Uh, the pre-order is going to start in early February. Okay. And the first product is going to be shipped out in uh, by the end of April. Okay. And where yeah. can you find it? Like a website? Yeah. So we have a website, Volchi.ai. It's very simple. Okay. Volchi.ai. Okay. You can sign up for all the uh, updates. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank Steel, you. this is Louie. Hey Louie, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Good, so tell me a little bit about this new printer that you have. So we have here the GTA 30, it's the big brother of the GTA, uh, GTA 26 that we introduced several years ago. Okay. Uh, the biggest differences I would say today are the fact that we can put two batteries. Okay, okay when the run time, more power. Of course, we got okay. uh, up to 160 cuts per battery, so that's okay. more of that's I more. For a handheld printer, 160 cuts will get you through your. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And we recommend putting a bit of oil around the chain every 40 to 50 cuts. Okay, okay. so this doesn't have a reservoir take on it? Absolutely. You got to do it manually. With the, okay. with the, with the case comes a little, a little Step reservoir. Again. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And yeah, don't forget to do it. So if I'm manually adding here, one of the things I always hate with any of my chainsaw products is, you know, it dripping afterwards. What do you recommend for like a after finish process so after fi finish process you will have some sawdust around the product so okay. wipe it out okay and don't re-oil the chain okay, okay. always re-oil the chain before you work okay and like so i said dry oil right dry before. always and like i said every 40 to 50 cuts okay okay awesome thank you so much yep so a really interesting magnetic tool design caught my eye i'm here with rocky with hodo tools how are you i'm doing great brother how are you doing today very good could you show me a little bit about this absolutely this is part of our snap block system okay so what this is cases and accessories and tools magnetic cases here okay snaps together for storage when you need to use them get the tool out okay Open up, boom. Okay. You have your bits, all the bits you need. I see we have different colors, right different in. colors or different bit sets. Absolutely. So the Very yellow cool. is for the screwdriver, blue is the rotary tool, okay. red is the drill. Okay. So on our blue rotary tool here, what are we looking at like RPM wise? RPM wise, you are up to 22,000 RPM. Okay. So that's pretty good for a really precision okay. uh, type tool like that. And since this case is magnetic, can I like put this underneath my table saw or like under my, you know, whatever type of metal product I have in the shop? Sure can. Just for easy storage. Not a problem That's at cool. all. It'll work. Can, can I stack more than two of these together? You can. Okay. So very versatile right there. What do one of these kits cost us? So it comes with all three. Okay. You oh, get so it all, comes three with all three for $2.99. So you get a rotary tool, you get a uh, electric screwdriver, and you get an electric drill with all the accessories for $2.99. Okay, very compact pack too, so you know, maybe something people might consider also for like a car type of storage as well, because... Without question. Okay, great, and where can we find these products at? So you'll find these on hodotools.com, Amazon, and a lot of other online retailers. Okay, thanks so much, Rocky. I'm here with Place by Gentex, and this is Tommy. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? That's nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you. Could you tell us a little bit about how you're trying to reimagine, you know, smoke detection in the home? Yeah, so what you're looking at right here is uh, a brand by Gentex Corporation called Place. 
It's a whole new category of smart smoke seal alarms. Uh, they're multi-feature, room specific, and smart, meaning they can connect over Wi-Fi. So, so why why room specific? Why would you have a different model for each room? Right. So traditional alarms today, I mean, they haven't evolved in decades. They're really one size fits all safety. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you have a smoke alarm. You just put them throughout the places in your in your home, and they detect smoke. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to take a different approach there. We wanted to be more holistic, more comprehensive safety for the home okay. so we have we're showcasing four units here that are specific to uh different spaces in your home okay so the first one being called uh it's called any space like the name implies goes to any space in your home okay. it provides the core safety features that power all these devices you see here mm -hmm. um it, it gives you obviously your smoke detection co detection uh, also provides motion detection, ambient temperature, humidity sensing, okay. and also has a smart nightlight in there as well. Cool. Um, and then when you get into these rooms, uh, these specialized room-specific models like the kitchen unit, all those features I just listed off, you also get on top of that um, a natural gas detection for okay. your kitchen. That is important. I had to evacuate my house. We accidentally left the stove on one time recently, and... That's a big problem, obviously. So that one has that very specific thing added yeah, to it. If you're like me, I constantly bump that knob a little bit too and it turns on the gas. Yep. So it's great for that. Okay. Also has VOC detection monitoring. Oh, that's good. And then we get into the our most feature-rich one in the nursery unit. Oh, uh, okay. For new, great for new parents, uh, mm -hmm. watching kids. So for the nursery unit, on top of all those features I just listed off for the uh, the any space, you also get the the, cam the camera monitoring for, for your child as well as a two-way intercom. Okay. You get the white noise generator, ambient temperature humidity sensing. You get the smart nightlight around the edge there. And then you also have air quality monitoring for your child oh, wow. as well. Yeah, I mean, if you're a new parent, you want every single protection measure you can have in there, but also just being able to have all those things that you might be purchasing at a baby monitor in here. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that's great. And then lastly, we have our garage unit here. Um, a lot of people don't want, I, I, arguably the most overlooked fire safety space yeah. in your home. Nobody wants to put the smoke alarms in the garage. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you're working on projects, you want a barbecue in the garage, you want to have a cigar, um, that, that causes a lot of false alarms, right? So we replaced that smoke sensor with a heat sensor. So okay. now you can still have that fire protection in the garage without the nuisance alarms. Okay. And then we added that security camera and two-way intercom as well. So you can kind of keep an eye on what's going on in the garage. You know, so if you watch my channel, most likely you do a lot of things in the garage. And for me, I worry most about having a fire in my garage, in my home, because I'm out there with lasers and all sorts of tools that are generating heat and fire. So that's interesting. And then also if I have a camera out there, that's also a little bit more security because Correct. most break-ins, the easiest place to break into somebody's home is getting their garage door open. Yep. And so having a camera out there too is really good. Yep. Oh, that's yeah, great. All of that to say too, what's, uh, what I didn't touch on that's most also most unique about these is the integrated low frequency sounder. Okay. So all of these have that uh, low frequency sounder that's more effective at waking uh, older adults, children, and people with hearing deficits as well. Okay. And that's a, that's a code that's out there right now that's um, a, a, a required in newer home builds. Okay. So if you uh, if you need a low frequency sounder for uh, your newer home to be up to code, this is the only solution that's out in the market right now okay. that can help you meet that code requirement. All right. And so where would we find the Place ecosystem at? Yep, available at the Home Depot online right now. Oh, okay, awesome. You can go out and get and it today. And what about like <laughs> estimated price point? Oh, so the AnySpace unit, uh, our, our base unit comes in at $138.99. Okay. Our kitchen model comes in at $249. Garage unit two ninety nine, and then our most feature rich nursery model uh, comes in at three forty nine. Okay, all right. That was my Thanks. time at CES. I hope you got a lot of good content from it. I go to tons of these shows every year. So IFA in Germany, Open Sauce in California, the International Woodworkers Show in Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, if you have any other shows that you want to see stuff from that you think there'll be some cool things that'll interest you, let me know down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, stay safe in the shop, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.